Welcome to the top 10 most anticipated manga characters as chosen by you guys, the Bleach Brave Souls community. This list will feature the manga characters that we, as players, are most excited to see come in game, and may include characters that have already come out. Before we begin, I want to apologize in advance because I will be butchering some of these names. Also, and I'm sure this goes without saying, there is a spoiler alert from now until the end of the video. Topping off the list, we have Bambietta Bastardbine. Before even starting the poll, I knew there was a possibility this character would end up on the list. She's many people's favorite Quincy, and she would make a great addition to the game. She played a major part in the battle between the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers, as she was one of only five Quincy's who actually managed to steal one of the Captain's Bankai. And although it would eventually be taken back and ultimately used to defeat her, it took the efforts of an immortal Sajin to do it. I think this character would make an amazing addition to the game, and it wouldn't be that hard to make strong attacks out of her abilities. Caleb can even make an extra zombie Bambi skin if a person were to die and come back during co op. At number 9, we have Bankai Retsu, or Kenpachi Retsu, whichever you prefer. Retsu Unahana, formerly known as Yachiro Unahana, shows a considerable amount of skill during the Blood War arc. Unfortunately, you don't actually get to see her fight a Quincy, but you do get to see her fight Kenpachi Zaraki in order to train him for Shikai. And she does not disappoint. We see the former Kampachi use her Bankai to create a blood red acid that has the ability to melt the skin off people's bones. It would be very cool to see this implemented in strong attacks. We also see her heal Kampachi over and over again, so she would likely be a healer as well as a heavy hitting character. Next up on the list is Bankai Rukia. After being defeated during the first Quincy invasion, Rukia, among others, is sent to the Soul King's Palace to train. When she eventually comes back during the Quincy's second invasion, she brings with her a newfound ability, and the audience gets to see Rukia's Bankai, Haka no Tsugame, and talk about overpowered. Not only does this Bankai look cool, but it has the ability to freeze everything around Rukia down to absolute zero. We've seen ice moves done in the game before, but nothing quite like this. In my opinion, this is a must-make character for Kayla as we've already seen them do so much with ice-based strong attacks. And who knows, maybe this character will get more than a 5 second debilitator. Up next on the list we have Yuach, or Yuhabak. Whichever way you decide to say it, this guy is no joke. He's one of the most broken characters that I've ever seen. He managed to steal Yamamoto's Bankai and proceeded to slice him in half. He broke Ichigo's Bankai not once, but twice, and he even managed to overpower Aizen who, if you remember, managed to single-handedly take down most of the Soul Reaper captains during the fight in Karakura Town. If Caleb does eventually make him into a character, I'm almost certain that his stats are going to be as broken as Mugetsu Ichigo's when he came out. That said, I'm sure it'd be very difficult to come up with strong attacks for this character, as most of the abilities he displays don't exactly translate well to strong attacks. Incredibly, we had a second character tied for number 7. And coincidentally, it's Bankai Yamamoto. Now unlike the previous number 7, Bankai Yama would actually be really easy to create strong attacks for, as elemental characters typically are, and Yamamoto displays no shortage of abilities, including one that lets him raise the skeletons of the dead to fight for him. With any luck, Caleb will finally make an OP version of Yama. <laughs> Coming in at number 6 on the list is Toshiro Hitsugaya Adult Version. Now I know this character already came out, but that just goes to show how much this character was really hyped. And in my opinion, they really did him justice. He has the highest SP in the game so far, and his strong attacks really complement who he is. That said, there are a few things I would have liked to see from the manga, such as a special involving Toshiro's holified Bankai. But I'm sure if they had to choose one, they may be right to see. Coming in at number 5 is a new Ichigo Kurosaki. Now in the poll I didn't exactly clarify whether this would be Shikai or Bankai Ichigo, but I'm sure we'd all like to see a dual wielding Shikai Ichigo, considering we didn't get to see really what his Bankai could do. Still, I'm sure people are very much looking forward to a new Ichigo, from the dual wielding swords and enhanced strength and speed, to the new cross-shaped Getsuga. He's actually one of two characters they can build in a couple different ways. However they do it though, I really hope they implement the Horn of Salvation. Number 4 on the list is Kenpachi Zaraki. He's the other character that I'm very curious to see how they end up making. As you guys know, Kenpachi was the only captain who didn't have a Shikai or a Bankai. That was until the Blood War, where he ended up getting both of these. 
I'm very interested to see how they're gonna implement the Shikai and the Bankai into a character that's already extremely powerful by himself. It's possible they'll create a Kenny that strong attacks consist of his Shikai and a special consist of his Bankai. It's also very likely they'll have a standalone Bankai Kenny. And who knows, they've added new mechanics to the game with the manga characters. We may finally see a character that completely changes after using a special. Coming in at number 3, and the character I personally voted for, is Bankai Kisuke. Kisuke was one of a number of characters whose Bankai the audience really wanted to see. And when he finally used it, it turned out to be one of the most overpowered things in existence. Kisuke's Bankai, Kanen Biraki Benihime Aratame, grants him the ability to restructure anything. This lets him heal himself in battle, restructure his own body parts for extra strength, and even split open his enemies as long as they're within a certain range. There is so much k can do with these abilities. They can give him a healing move, a boost move, or even both. One thing's for sure though, if he comes out, this would be the first and only gacha I would actually spend money on. Coming in second place is Lightning Cat Yoroichi. Of course this isn't the official name, but it's the name the internet decided to give her after her shunko pretty much replaced her clothes, and a cat pretty much replaced her mind. There have been quite a few 5 star Yoroichis already, and she is easily one of the most fun characters to play because you can flash step all over the place. However, what she's been missing is strong attacks that cover the entire screen. I'm sure that could be easily done if Caleb decided to make this character. And if they give her a strong attack recharge link, alongside with bonus flash steps and long stride, she may actually end up being one of the most fun characters to use in PvE. And finally, at number 1, we have the series' previous antagonist, Sosuke Aizen. More commonly referred to as Chersama these days, this Aizen would be an ideal character to put in the game. In the manga we see Aizen do incredible things even while binded in the chair, from destroying people's hands to bringing down entire palaces just with a spiritual pressure. And when he finally gets freed, we see him hold his own against the Quincy boss and even manages to use Haro number 99. Honestly, the game needs a better Aizen. The community clearly wants one. And who knows, maybe k will see this video and finally give us the Aizen we deserve. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for upcoming top 10 videos and community choice top 10 videos.